This is Fred Beck from Fred Just Fighting, proudly sponsored by Empire Fight Store. So, could you just repeat what you just said there? This is my favorite interview. Like, this whole channel, Fred, Fred uh, talks fighting, right? Oh, yeah. this, this is Fred! Yeah, this Fred, is Fred! 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 Woo! Bring him in, come, 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 come. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, can we just, everyone, celebrate for Fred? No, we're just celebrating with Fred. We're just celebrating with Fred. Fred. One, two, three, let's go, oh, Fred! Fred! Let's, go, let's Fred. go, Fred! Talks, fight, and subscribe! Yeah. Subscribe, yeah. subscribe, yeah. subscribe. Awesome. We'll go right here. Wow, well, thank you guys. Right. That's amazing. Cool. Cool. How are you doing, Deji? You alright, mate? Good, how are you? Good to see you. It's Nico, it's good to finally talk to you. How have you been? I've been good, Fred. How have you been? Alright? Yeah? Sick. No, I'm, I'm honoured to be here on this channel. I've now got the mic in my hand. Fred Talks so, Fighting. Fred Talks Fighting. This is my favourite boxing channel in the world. Subscribe to Fred Talks Fighting. Please, guys. And like the video right now. Have Fusi right next to me. Anything you want to say, Fusi? Who are you too powerful for? I'm too powerful for everyone. Every everyone? single YouTube boxer, especially everyone? you, Fusi. We can go right now. <laughs> no, <we're gonna> go. <laughs> you know, yeah, my reach. It's my reach. I know and the good. power. You see these wham arms as well? I do, I do. Come on, come on. But yeah, so, oh, what were we going for? Oh, it was a picture time. I'd, uh, I'd love to. I'm just doing an interview though right now. Do you know who Anthony Joshua is? Yes. So that's actually Kenny's cousin. Actually. Yes, it's actually, actually his cousin. Actually? Yeah, and he's been training Kenny with Daily. Actually? Yeah, actually. You're not lying? No, I'm not lying. No cap, man. Wow. It's crazy. Wow. So, like, Kenny's literally been training with heavyweights and, uh, and actual world champions and stuff like that. So it's, it's crazy times, man. That is, man. that is. Yeah. That is insane. So with that in mind, mm -hmm. what's your answer now? I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be a flip flop, or I'm still gonna have to yeah. take temper, you know, okay. especially coming from yeah. the states. So no, that's fine. That's yeah. fine. Is, is Keem gonna be coming down? Keem is not coming down for this one. Devastated, because you know I've got a bet with him. What, for, on what? So he doesn't owe you money. Yes. No. No. So he paid me for the last one, but he actually is gonna owe me ten thousand when Kenny knocks out Tampa. Um, well, I'm gonna say oh, he may end up RKOing him in the middle of the ring. You never know. But no, I'm, 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 I'm gonna say a deji win. But any, anything you wanna say, Fred, as well. Well, I've got something to say. Say you two went in the ring both together. No. What would happen? No, not. Nah. No. He would kill me. No. It's true, man. It's true. I've just... Is that why you've never had a bossy fight in your life? You're just levels? Yeah, I'm scared of my own power. Like, yeah. literally, as I was saying about Anthony Joshua, I was actually in a ring with him. We had a quick spa. I did drop him a couple of times. But, <laughs> like, and, and that's why I was like, this sport ain't for me. Sometimes you're just too good and you just got to be humble with it. And just, yeah. and just Annie Joshua was always talking about being humble. Yeah, exactly. And I've, I was, I, I, as the greatest fighter that has ever lived on this planet, I've decided to be humble and, and not get involved in the ring. That's very kind of you, Nico. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Fred. <laughs> All right. What I do now, this is this is what I do, and I actually recommend this for other people. I get di like new tracks, like different tracks, and put them on a playlist, and I just I just vibe while I'm running. So it kind of just eases. It, I, I get distracted while I'm running. What music are you listening to when you're running then? Right now, I'm listening to Joyner Lucas. I, I'm listening. I, it's an album that I haven't even heard. Like I've listened to uh, Zim Zim Zimmer. Uh, the problem, all, oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Do you ever listen to your brother's music, hair size music at all? Hundred percent. Like J so with JJ's music, that, that actually gets me pissed. You know, like I, I, it gets me a that, 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 that nice fiery feeling. So that's more like a in the. Gym. It gets you out top. Yeah, like in the gym, not not running. You know what I mean? But in the gym, yeah. Let's move on to the car that's happening tomorrow night. Will you be there in attendance? I should be. I should be there. You know what is? <laughs> You know it is, yeah. My missus is going out for a friend's birthday, so I got my boy, and I'm trying to drop my boy to my mum's. But my mum. You need a babysitter then, what you need? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So basically, I got to holler at my mum'sy tonight, and then see if she can look after my son, and I'll be there. Okay, then hopefully you do find a babysitter in time. You would fight Shannon Briggs for a million dollars. Yes. Any news on that at all? Well, now that's gone up to ten million because Shannon has got a little bit older. And I don't want Shanonce to get dropped by my huge power. But also, me and me and me and Shannon, that's in the past. You know, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to keep beefing the guy. Maybe one day I'll run into him and he will break my teeth, or well, he'll attempt to. But as I, as I keep saying, I'm so big. But, it would yeah. make a good video if he did do that, though, wouldn't it? It wouldn't be good for my teeth, though, and it wouldn't be good for my future videos that I don't have teeth. So. That's alright, too. You do want teeth. Oh, he's bright, isn't it? I know, I knew. This is Fred Beck from Fred Talks Fighting, proudly sponsored by Empire Fight Store. I'm joined for the third day in a row by Deji. Who would you like to fight after that? Um, Bryce Hall, Joe Weller. I mean, Joe Weller, I know you won't fight me, Joe Weller. There's no point. Pussy. But, yeah. So if Joe Weller watches this right now, which I hope he does, what's the message to Joe? 
If you ever do get back in the ring, I will humiliate you. And I'll make you take another break of social media. Oh, there we go. Hopefully Joe Weller watches that. Deji, it's always good to catch up with you. Thank you for your time. Thank you, my guy. I'm joined after Wayne by Nico. Nico, first and foremost, happy birthday, mate. Thank you very much. It is my birthday. Thank you, Fred. I really do appreciate that. How old are you now? I'm 24 years old. I'm only 17, so you're getting on a bit now. Yes, I am an old man. Thank you for reminding me, Fred. But um, yeah, you're very young. Doing all of this, that's uh, fair play, my friend. Fair play. Thank you very much. So what did you get for your birthday then, staying on that topic? Uh, I mean, Chunk's got me a stylist. So uh, I don't know what that says. That probably says that I need to be dressing better. But that's, uh, that's a sick gift. And uh, all these guys surprised me earlier. So I'm very happy. What did they surprise you with? A party or something? Yeah, like, like a whole VR experience where we did like a whole zombie thing. So, yeah. I'm, I'm liking this, Fred, because usually you talk fighting and now we're talking birthdays. Well, lots of interest. They kind of ask, oh, how are you feeling? Obviously, sometimes you have to ask that, how are you feeling, prediction. Oh, of course, you've got to ask those questions. But sometimes it's nice to switch it up, you know. Yeah. No, you're different, Fred. You're different. I've actually, I've got a bet, but it's not on Deji. It's on Kenny, and it's $10,000 with Keemstar. And Keemstar, his pockets are getting rinsed by me. I took 10 grand off him when he bet on Taylor Holder, and I bet on Gibb, and I'm going to do it again. So I'm very, very excited. What about you? Have you got any bets on? I'm only 17. I can't bet yet, though. There we go. You see, that's funny, because off camera, he told me that he has made a bet. But right here, we've got Vidal. Now, Vidal... Just tell me, what are your thoughts on the fights tomorrow? I am gassed. I see King Kenny and Pretty Boy over there having some bickers. You know what I mean? There's beef going on. Oh, there like is it. beef going on. Yeah, there's beef going on. Oh, straight yeah, beef. What, what, what? what are we saying, guys? Wait, there's straight beef. Can we go over? Let's try, let's try <laughs> and find out what's going on over here. Let's follow. Let's follow over here. Yo, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, I said he can fight me. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's crazy. So, so I, I, I told Liam and... Um, Liam, by the way, for those watching, is... Um, the manager of Deji. And I, I talked to Gibbs' manager. Oh, he's also Gibbs' manager. Gibbs does, Gibb doesn't want to fight me. I said I will fight in June, six rounds, three with Deji okay. and three with Gibb. That's crazy, man. I'm a professional boxer. I'm a fighter overall. Not a boxer, I'm a fighter. Do you reckon Kenny could beat Jake Paul? Who's Kenny? He said he doesn't know him yet. Oh, he doesn't know him yet. Okay, so we got oh, Kenny yeah. right here. I told him you'll know tomorrow. Yeah, you'll know okay. tomorrow. Respectfully, okay. I said I'll know him tomorrow. Okay. I think that's something that we have to see. Yep. And if Jake Paul does acknowledge it and recognize it, and then that's something Jake Paul will have to do. I can't Kenny is Jake the Paul. greatest boxer of all time. Of all time. Will there be an after party? Am I invited? Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, Fred, you're invited. Do you actually want to come? Yeah, yeah. Wait, oh, you're yeah. 17, though. How old are you? 17. Oh, no, you can't come. Oh, is it a nightclub? Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, 18 and over. Is it a nightclub? It's a bit of a, yeah, I can't say it on. Next, <laughs> but listen, when you're 18, yeah. I'll invite you I'll to the after party. I'll get another after this, and then next time, next yeah, time. Come, I'm, come. My birthday's what? My birthday's 10th of May, so next time, then. Come. Well, have, I I, have I got it correct? It's Fred's boxing. How do you? I've never done an interview before. I've they actually seen, know me. I've seen the boys with you. I've seen. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. Oh, what you. do you think about today? I don't know. You might be interviewing me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Joined by young Philly. Philly, how you doing, mate? I'm good, Fred. How are you, Fred? <laughs> yeah, all good, all good. So let's just go straight into it. Did this fight? What did you make out of it? Um, I think he looked brilliant. You know, not only did he look good, his trim was fantastic. Better than yours? Yeah, I ain't got one. Hence why I got the the hat on right now. I'm joined by the victorious Alex Asabi. Alex, yes. how does that sound? I can't believe it, man. I won. You can't believe it. You, you believe in yourself, though. Yeah. No, I believe in myself, but anything can happen. It's, it's hard. I mean, once it happens, then you can believe it. <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, I had a lot of hope. I, I did the work, and, uh, I, I, and I knew Deji did the work, so it could have gone either way. Um, that, man's, that, that man's a man. Three other names on the list. Ah, okay. So the Deji, uh, I think me and Vinny, because me and Vinny Hacker, the last person that... Vinny Hacker is the TikToker who beat Deji before. Yeah, Vinny Hacker, he's the last one to beat Deji um, in Florida, and we're the same size, um, and he did a good job. Uh, KSI, if he, I've, uh, if he wants to come down and wait, um, I'm down for that. Uh, and then pretty much whoever, I mean... How do you think you would get... How do you think you get... Oh, it's good. Kenny. Kenny would be a good match. We're the same height. Uh, and uh, he, yeah, that would be a good match too. I've got to ask you, though, you mentioned KSI. How do you think you'd get along with KSI on the ring? Let's start with match up. In the ring? Um, that dude's a beast. He's, he's, uh, I think we have similar styles because I, I, like, I didn't even know. 
I didn't even know who was in the ring when I was boxing. I was growling. I've never growled before. I didn't know what was happening. I turned like I was Aah! so and he's the same way. He's a dog. I'm a beast. Let's go. That would be a that would be a crazy fight. But what was the kind of atmosphere like in the changing room going in and what was it like coming so, out? Coach made a rule I wasn't allowed in the changing room. Apparently I'm a bit too loud and too ex- eccentric. So I had to wait outside, but the crowd in the, the the atmosphere in the crowd was terrifying. I was scared. Like it was it was very hostile. I, I didn't like I was actually nervous. But thankfully, they were respectful to the loss. Um, they, 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 you know, they weren't mad because it wasn't a robbery. You know, Alex, Alex took that, so they were respectful for it. So it was fine. You got anything else coming up in your future or Simon's future? Today is not about me, but um, we've always got stuff coming up, so you can look out for it. But today is not about us. Today is about the people who stepped in the ring. Shout each and every one of them, and shout out you lot for interviewing as well. Appreciate you. Uh, thank, thank you very much, mate. Thank you. Big up, Fred talks fighting. We love Fred Talks Fighting, so you better subscribe.